am a Satanist, if you didn't know that. So, <laughs> let's just open up with that. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So red is my favorite color and I love devils and Satan. I'm actually a Satanist. If you want a video about that and like what I believe in and everything, I could totally do that for you guys. Just let me know in the comments. My aesthetics consist of like goddess kind of fun, girly, flirty kind of looks or dark dramatic looks like this. So I really wanted to go all out. I've been wanting to do a demon look since I did one when I had my purple hair kind of faded. A long time ago, I think like in November maybe of last year. Editing Tabitha here. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have zero concept of time and I actually did not take this picture back in November. I took it in January of this year. So that just shows you how well I know time. Anyway, let's just carry on with the video. And I told myself I would totally do it again if I had red hair, and here she is. I also tried the straight brow look today. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. So if you want to know how I got this look, then keep on watching. All right, I tried my best to do the straight eyebrow look. I'm actually really happy with it. I filled it in with uh, brown in the beginning and then black on the ends, which I think is really cool. And also my... Uh, contacts don't like to stay straight so I'm just not going to mess with them until I'm done with this um, whole video so if you see them like sideways or just angled weird just ignore it it's fine so I'm going to prime my eyes with my max soft ochre paint pot and an m421 brush now I'm going to buff this in with my m173 brush So I've been doing this look for the past few days just in my everyday life, so if you are a friend of mine, you have seen this look already. I'm just going to do it again because I really like it. So it's a one brush look. I don't really use a lot of different brushes when I'm doing my everyday makeup just to make it like go by faster. So the brush I'm going to be using today is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. They put the same uh, dual ended brush in all of their palettes, I'm pretty sure, all of their like small 14 pan. Uh, palettes anyways. So I'm going to take that brush and dip into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Straw Breaker palette and I'm going to take licorice all in my crease and just really pack it on there. Doesn't matter how neat this is because we're just going to blend it out. Violet. <laughs> I closed the door because there's some like weird like cicada or cricket sound so I wanted it to not be audible in my video so I closed my door a little bit and Violet just like pushes it open immediately after like why'd you do that so we're just going to use that same brush to buff this out I'm really going to drag it super high I'm actually going to be angling it as well to match my eyebrow and to really like elongate my eye all right so I actually kind of lied I'm not going to be using one brush for this look I'm going to be using two so I'm going to be uh, applying the shade suck and mix that in with licorice a little bit on an m441 brush just on the edges to help it really blend out and I'm just going to drag this like all the way to the end of my face because why not see my contacts already sideways it's okay so I'm going to go back in with my Anastasia brush to pack on some more licorice and I'm going to use the fluffy side to pack on some licorice as well And although they're pretty much the same color, I'm going to take that same brush and dip into the James Charles X Morphe palette and put your kidding on everywhere that we just put the red. Just to see if it makes any difference. I don't think it will, but you never know. I'm going to take that M441 brush again to blend this out. Now with the Anastasia brush and the actual Modern Renaissance palette, I'm going to take the shade Venetian Red and pack that in my crease. I'm going to elongate my crease as well to give that illusion of a longer eye. Going to take the fluffy side with licorice to blend this out a little bit. 
Now I'm going to take a mixture of Venetian red and red ochre. The reason why I'm mixing them is that Venetian red has more of a like satin kind of shiny finish and red ochre is more just matte so they don't really like to blend together that well so I'm just going to apply them both together to give them a little help. And I'm just going to put this all on my lid. So this one's back to straight, but this one is just sideways. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Blackout by Urban Decay on an M431 brush and just put that closest to my lash line and smudge it out. All right, that's basically what we're going to do for the eyes. I'm going to do the other one and then I'll be right back. All right, let's pause the eyes and start working on the face. First, I'm going to prime using my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. For foundation, I'm just going to use my normal ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. Instead of my normal Morphe sponge, I'm going to be using a M439 brush to blend out my foundation today. Now I'm going to lightly conceal the highest points of my face using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I'm actually going to blend this out with my M173 brush. Now I'm going to set everywhere that we just concealed using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. And I'll be taking it on an E48 brush. I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder and my Morphe M527 brush. Alright, I'm going to zoom in so we can finish off the lower lash line. First, I'm going to tight line my eyes with a black eyeliner. Now with that M431 brush that we used to pack the black on our lash line on top, we're going to do the same thing to the bottom. Now taking the Anastasia brush and some of Licorice, I'm going to blend out this black. Alright, the eyes are basically all done. I just have to add lashes and I may or may not add eyeliner. I'm not sure yet. I'm waiting on answers from my friends, but um, let's move on with the face. So first I'm going to contour using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit in the shade Light Medium. And I'm also going to add in a little bit of Your Kidding from the James Charles X Morphe Palette. And I'm going to be applying these with my Morphe E4 brush. Now I'm going in with a little bit of Your Kidding. So I have a lot of new eyelashes that I just got in the mail. I get all of my eyelashes from uh, AliExpress. I call it AlexiPress because that's just how my brain likes to see it. Um, let's see which ones we should wear today. D62. I get them from the brand Viso Free. They are a little over a dollar, sometimes over two dollars a pop, which is really nice much better than paying $11 or more for the same lashes because a lot of brands actually get their lashes from the same sellers um, in China that <laughs> when you don't want to pronounce it wrong but you want to pronounce it how you pronounce it. So a lot of sellers actually get their lashes from AlexiPress so um, you're just getting them straight from the seller and not a brand so I like that. I like to buy in bulk. I got 10 pairs for a little over $22. Now we're going to do some highlight. I'm not going to use blush today because we already have the red in our contour, so I don't really want to add any more warmth to my face. So for highlight, I'm going to be using I'm going to be using a mix of gumdrop and marshmallow from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sugar Glow Kit on an M501 brush that I'm going to wet with a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter. Sideways. <laughs> for lips, I am either going to go red or black. So let's see. Red would slap, it would tie everything together because that's like the mood we're having. Black. Red's the mood, but black is the vibe.
Going to straighten my hair and my contacts and I'll be right back with the finished look. Here's the finished look guys, I hope you like it as much as I do, and make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!